I did some damage, but not a lot of damage. Oops. <laughs> um, I went to the semi-annual sale. I went ahead and I picked up a couple of things. Um, this is my first trip, so it will get better. Um, I usually only exclusively shop 75% off. When I first started, I did shop in the 50% off. I know. I was young. I was in my late teens <laughs> when I first started. I'm in my mid-20s now, and I think I kind of know what I'm doing. You know what you're doing when you use coupons, and apparently I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> because I have not gotten a single coupon this whole year. Um, that might have to do with most of our stores being closed. I'm in California. Um, I'm in Los Angeles, so our cases are just sky high. Um, so that's why I look like this. I got home, did a face mask, jumped in the shower. So here I am, ready to deliver this haul if I could stop rambling. Um, first thing, rosé champagne. I was so excited to pick this up. It does smell like the rosé champagne from 2016, 2017 in the square, square, rectangular bottle. If you have it, you know what I'm talking about. It smells super similar. Um, it's girly, it's sophisticated. You would wear this around on a date, I would say. Um, I wasn't expecting to pick this up, but I, I saw it and I was like, let me grab it because I ran out of this and this is, smells really, really good. Um, currently I only have this in a candle. I feel like I wasn't in a rush to pick this up because I'm like, they're gonna bring it back. They always bring back watermelon lemonade. Um, it's super cute though because they have like what was this called like cocktail cocktail collection so they're all like these little drinks i thought it was so cute um but yeah this is super good um also this is what i was not expecting to pick pick up is a sparkling peach sangria i'm not the biggest fan of peach scents it's not that i don't like them it's that i feel like they all smell the same like pretty as a peach great like you can't go wrong with pretty as a peach um it's not offensive it smells nice it smells sweet it smells girly but georgia peach don't like it <laughs> i don't like it i literally was using it as a bathroom spray i just i don't like it um i didn't think i was gonna like this it smells so good this is pretty as a peach's older sister this i slept on this but again um my store was closed my store my stores i have three that i visit and they were all pretty much closed <laughs> and i was not able to pick up any of these during the summer or the summer sas so i'm happy i was able to pick them up today these were i don't know if i mentioned these were 4.95 they were not 75 percent off i know but they were literally the last one. Well, this one was the last one. There was only like two of these left. So I took the second to last one. Uh, Rosé Champagne, they had like six out. And I took one of them. So, yeah. I was I was happy to find those. I didn't find the other two in the collection. But that's fine. Like, I wasn't crazy about getting those. Um, I got two body creams. I got Honeysuckle, Secret Wonderland. There was no sprays to these. I was very disappointed. I was very heartbroken. Hopefully, I'll find them this week. <laughs> um, I went today. Today is the third day of semi-annual sale. I didn't go the first or the second day because they were ridiculously packed. And like I said, um, our COVID cases have been super high. And I was not about to stand in a crazy line for body care products. I know, like, as like a true... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, as a true Bath & Body Works, like enthusiast you would say like girl you better stand in that line like you did in candle day i know but like our cases are out of control and you really have to i guess be impacted by covid in some way to really realize like this thing is super real like a couple of my family members have gotten it and recently my boyfriend got it so i've been like super duper extra extra cautious i was already super extra cautious um i think my family was like chill but i haven't gotten sick yet so far so yeah i i'm kind of keeping my distance <laughs> um but yeah hopefully when i do go on wednesday 
here I am saying I'm keeping my distance, but can't keep me out of the stores, right? Um, anyway, when I go, hopefully I find the matching sprays to this. This is straight up floral. This smells like floral. Um, if you don't like floral smells, you're not going to like this. It's really nice, though. Like, really nice. This could potentially give you a headache if you don't like florals. But nonetheless, I like it. Um, this, I needed to buy this. <laughs> I needed to find this, I needed to purchase it, and I needed it today. <laughs> I needed it now. I needed it, like if I went through SAS and I didn't purchase this, why did I go through SAS? Like why did I even participate? Um, this is so good. Secret Wonderland was my very first Bath & Body Works product ever. I received it for my 15th birthday. Um, I'm Mexican, so in my culture we have like a coming of age party is called the quinceanera and i had a quinceanera and somebody gifted me secret wonderland when it was in those like roundish bottles like like the top was like curvily i don't i don't i don't know if, if you're like an og bath and body works collector you know what i'm talking about or you know what bottles i'm talking about not like the not the ones that were kind of like a square at the top and then dipped no they were like round like if you look up secret wonderland you'll see the the bottle I was talking about but it was my very first one I fell in love with it right after that pink chiffon came into my life and it's never left I love pink chiffon um but yeah I'm hoping I find the spray to this because this is so good like leaves me speechless it's so good I think it's because of the nostalgia though <laughs> um when they told me they were bringing this back I almost fell out like fell out of my chair through the phone across the room kind of situation it was intense the last two things i purchased i was not planning to purchase i was straight up not planning to purchase this i'll show you guys i was like oh no but i saw them and i knew i had to get them um ocean and midnight uh, men's cologne i was gonna call them perfume men's cologne sprays um so freaking cute <laughs> They are so cute. I literally, I can't open this box. I really don't want to rip it. There. I'll show you guys the bottle. I think they're probably changing the bottle style. That would be the only reason they would be getting rid of Ocean. I don't know about Midnight, but Ocean has been around since I was like 15. I'm 24 now. Look at the bottle. It's so cute and it smells so good. It's heavy. I've never had... Personally, I have never had a perfume from Bath & Body Works. Um, just when I was younger, I couldn't afford them. And recently, they haven't came out with something that I'm like, that's worthy of a perfume. Or like the sprays that do come out, I'm like, why don't they just make that one a perfume? So, yeah, I did go ahead and pick up Ocean and Midnight. These were 75% off. They were like 9 bucks and something. Because these are originally... 39.50 so super exciting i was really excited so my boyfriend is getting these two i might go back and i might pick up another one for my dad um but yeah that was pretty much my haul for bath and body works um from victoria's secret pink all the stuff i wanted like all like the gumdrop the beat the fresh vanilla all that stuff that is on sale online was not on sale in stores i don't know why but they did have sweet summer i picked this up nice it's girly the sprays are so aggressive like, I, like for what it's really nice this smells similar to some other scent that they i feel like they brought out recently i don't know what scent it is it's something really similar but yeah this one's really good literally all i got in this tiny little bag um hopefully they put the stuff that i want on sale because we don't pay full price around here um something else random my bath and body works the mall that i go to has a bath and body works has a victoria's secret has a forever 21 has a tj maxx it's kind of a dead mall but those stores that like, keep it running and the food court's pretty big but it's all closed right now um but i went to tj maxx <laughs> um i picked up some tweezers these are hot pink i always lose my tweezers um i live in a house filled with women so yeah they just you leave them somewhere and they disappear um 
And then sometimes when you know you have them around and you can't find them because of like the color, like especially if you get like silver or black, or you would think you would be able to find them, but the, I, I don't know. But yeah, I like to get like really bright colored tweezers so I see them. Um, and I don't step on them. You don't want to step on some tweezers. My sister stepped on some and that was not not fun for her i bet it looked like it hurt but yeah picked up some tweezers they were on sale they had a lot of stuff on sale at tj maxx but yeah that was my haul hope you guys enjoyed my haul um again excuse my appearance i know it's not the best thing to look at but this is my very first sas haul of the season hopefully there will be better hauls um but yeah thank you so much for watching if you would like to follow my Instagram page, it's Wild Haired Quirks, Q U I R K S, Quirks. I'm like, did I spell that right? But yeah, if you want to follow me there, if you want to follow my personal, it's Wild Haired Girl. It's all together um, on Instagram. And yeah, I post videos on here whenever I remember to, whenever I'm not busy or doing schoolwork or working. Um, but yeah, I'll try to post each haul of the season this SAS season um but yeah thank you so much for watching I'll shut up now and hopefully you guys are also keeping each other safe and practicing social distancing keeping your mask on because COVID is very real and it's very scary